this is janet let me know if you can hear me so i continue with this video okay let me know i'll wait for the first person to tell me if the sound is okay now i came here before and the sound was not there so i hope one of you will tell me if the video you can hear me now if you can hear me i'll continue with the video thank you so much for coming okay so you can see this topic is very important today this topic is very very important because i have followers who have now come to the united states they are students and we want to make sure okay thank you so much mary you can hear me now okay simon can you hear me thank you so much 10 people are watching i hope you can hear me now okay thank you so much all right we can go on the reason i'm here today is many of my followers are beginning to come to the united states now they have student visas okay we want to make sure when they come here they're able to pay for school fees and for those who are trying to come here i don't want money to scare you away okay and some of you you're coming on green cards okay some of you will say well i can get student loans well if you can get free money or if you can find other ways so you don't have student loans why not thank you so much for telling me the sound is clear okay when you wake up this video will be here for you for those who are still awake like 17 people now watching thank you so much okay very important topic i was just about to tell you before i came here now i just spoke with one of my followers just like you some of you are not here yet he's at the university of oklahoma i promised he's four hours away from me i say you know what i just drive there you will see him you will see him live session real testimonials coming up the coming weeks janet is going to stop talk, talking i'll have people like you come and say their stories so you can learn from you from them okay rachel is here jackie all right we're gonna learn from those people who are already here so you can see that this is actually real okay we're gonna learn how they got scholarships how they got admissions which exams did they do okay having said that that's not the topic the topic today is how people who have green cards how international students can pay for college education i went to nairobi and there was a mother who said she sent two children to america i don't know how they are paying okay i hope they have a lot of money if not we need to find real testimonials i have another one in minnesota I have all over the united states we'll bring them here you learn from them and we'll share these tips okay actually some of these tips is page 65 of my book but you know some people don't have access to the book so i'll share some of the information that is in the book okay for those who want the book janetrangi.com will have a form there as soon as you know you put in your names and we have enough copies we'll mail them to you we need to know how people pay for these school fees okay now my follower was starting to panic janet i've gotten a social security number and i'm gonna be paying okay i'll get a job for ten dollars an hour fifteen and i owe them seven thousand dollars i say well okay let's learn let me tell you one of the websites write down take a pen and paper when you come to watch janet rangi you better have your pen and paper ready because you just never know what's coming okay i want you to write something called empower let me spell for you okay empower m p o w e r empower.com okay these ones they give uh student loans to international students okay i know all of us want to have a job all of us want to pay but if you're stuck don't go out of status huh don't go out of status student education can be expensive try this empower why do i say empower.com because most international students they don't qualify for student loans okay unless they have a cosigner and i'll talk about that okay but if you don't have a cosigner empower.com m p o w e r.com okay go and try your luck i'm saying if someone is listening out there and they are stuck you can try that but the interest rates will be so high okay you want to pick a course that they are sure you'll start paying after you graduate okay that is just one of the tips i know i have to tell you this as we speak i have a student who she's a lawyer she's in california she's getting funding from empower.com if jobs didn't work for you or jobs are not giving you enough money you need to know about this okay now if you have a family member who has a green card if your family member is a permanent resident or a family member is a citizen okay they can co-sign for you you can go and fill in the forms fafsa uh-huh again write down fafsa 
I know many of you watching are in the United States. You probably know this already. My international students, they don't. They don't. FAFSA, okay, F A F S A. Oh, probably you don't qualify for that, okay? Salime, okay, Salime. All right, Salime, okay. Let me spell. S A L I E M A E. Salime, okay. These ones they give loans, but you need who? A cosigner. And the cosigner has to have good credit. And you know, this show Janet talks about good credit. I teach people when you come to the United States, don't have shady credit. Your credit should be stellar, 700, 800. Okay? So that way, when your family members come, and that's not easy. Now, you'll call one of your family members or friends to co sign for you. Probably they will say no. Because if you fail to pay that student loan, they will go for your family member. So do not be surprised that they will say no. Is it worth knowing? Yes. Okay? This is what people from, those who have green cards, they go to this Salime, and they get student loans. There are so many. Okay? If you have a cosigner, there are many of them that you can get student loans from. So don't be stuck. Maybe someone will cosign for you $15,000, you know, to sail you through. Is it easy? They'll probably say no. Now, if you don't have a cosigner, let me repeat, empower.com, I'll give you two other ones. I think there are about three now in the United States who are considering international students. You don't have to have a green card. You don't have to have a cosigner. You just have to have admission in some of those schools that they accept, okay? All right. Having said that, as I said, there are many, many ways. Some of you come here with green cards and you get stuck. Even if you don't have a green card, this topic is for you today, okay? I'm just looking at my book, page 66, and I cover this topic very well, page 65, okay? All right. Now, when you live in a state, for instance, me, I live here in Texas. If I want to go to college here in Texas, I have to establish residency. What do I mean by residency? That means my social security, I mean my driver's license, my bills, water bills, electricity, I don't mean phone bills. Such things should be from Texas, okay? That means I'm a resident of Texas and I can prove that I've been living here for six months. Why do I say that? Some of you just hear there's a school across the street, there's a school across the state and you rush there. You reach there, they will give you uh, uh, out-of-state rates. So institution, institution could be 3000 per semester, but you are there paying 7000 or 8000 per semester. You need to know these things, my friends. Okay, so you need to make sure you stay in a place at least for six months, have that driver's license, have that social security, which is obvious, okay, no, bills. The most important is a bill to show that you have a house there, you have an apartment, whether you have a roommate or not, anything in your name. Water bill, very important. They like that cable, like TV. They like that, okay? Your driver's license has to reflect that you've been living in that state, okay? So that will make like a 50% difference. Me, I can tell you as an example, when I was living in California, okay, I finished my job there, but I found an opportunity in Texas, then I moved. But I, I wanted to go back to school for master's. Then I applied at UCLA, okay? I applied at UCLA. But I came to Texas, okay? Then I filed taxes in here, in Texas. So when I got admission in UCLA, guess what? They gave me out-of-state, out-of-state tuition. When people who, 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 who live in California were paying like I don't know how much, like $6,000, I was expected to raise like $12,000 per semester. It's very painful. You know, as usual me, I'll not keep quiet. I'll not keep quiet. Me, I went to the financial office and I told them, you know what? I've been in California all this time. I've never paid taxes in, it, in Texas. Okay, it wasn't my wish that I went. I went to see there were opportunities. I found there were no opportunities. I'm back in California. Look, my driver license is from California. Look at my bills three months ago. They were in California. They say, okay, Janet, we've received your complaint and your concerns. Give us the board of regents. We'll go and review your case. Do you know, after a month or two, I received a letter saying, we highly apologize for mischaracterization. You are actually a resident of California. They returned all my money. I was so happy. My friends, my friends. Right now, I'd be paying a bill that some of you, some of the people that are in California are not paying. I said, no, I'm going to speak up. Okay, so make sure you are a resident. Okay, I sent you a message on your WhatsApp and Facebook. It's two months, no reply. Please have at least time for our burning questions. Thank you, Joy. I'm so sorry about that. That is so sad. 
Now you will have to go look for you. Yvonne missed Janet. Thank you, Yvonne. I missed you back. Okay. All right. Now, some of you, some of you again, you have jobs. Huh? You have jobs and you don't go looking for benefits. What's up with that? Huh? You don't look for benefits. Most jobs here, let me tell you. Most jobs, okay? And I'm telling you, if I were you, I'll go and do you know something called CNA? Certified nurse assistant. Huh? You go and clean patients and give them food. You work with the nurses, you help the nurse. Do you know, you could be getting $12 an hour, 13 14 15 It might not be a lot like the nurse, but guess what? The benefits might be the same. Benefits such as college education, benefits such as health insurance. They don't choose. You are an employee of that hospital. Go and do that $15 job an hour, $15 an hour job, okay, or $10 an hour job. Then go to human resource and say, I want to go to school. They say, okay, go to school, okay, bring your first semester transcripts. We will cover your education. Sometimes 75%, sometimes 100%. As we speak, my friend, I'll go to Oklahoma, one of my followers. He's working on that, okay? He came here, by the way, I, I don't want to reveal, reveal all the secrets, but he came as a postgraduate student. Then he has found out that actually there are some hospitals that are willing to pay your nursing education 100% so long as you sign for them. You work for them like one or two years. This guy came from Kenya, postgraduate. He listened to Janet Rangi. As soon as he reached here, he changed to nursing because he's projecting. Three, four years from now, he needs a green card. Now he's on F1. He changed his major. They, were so, they told him everything Janet was saying. It was so easy for him. Yeah, we'll change to nursing for you, okay? As we speak, he's doing nursing courses. Now, this, the hospital wants transcripts. So, he'll make sure he gets A's and B's this semester. If he passes the, the test, he'll carry the transcripts, take them to the hospital. The hospital will pay for his nursing education. You see, my friends. You see, my friends. Just come in. And three, six months ago, he was listening to me like you. Uh, now he's in America and now he's implementing what Janet told, told him. Okay? So, my friends, look at your job. Always go to human resources. Look at your benefits. Why am I even giving examples? Personally, I just did my postgraduate studies. You all know in psychiatry. Who told you I paid a penny? How much did I pay? Huh? Zero. Zero. I paid what? Zero. Because I'm working for them, they say, okay, we'll take you back to school, we'll pay tuition for them. Now, in return, I have to work for them one, two, three, four years. Okay, my friend, don't lock your head. Some of you, you don't, anyway, us here, we are being smart. Whether we have green cards or not, I'm just telling you, because many, many people are, ah, college education, so many uh, bills. Okay, those student loans, you waste a lot of time. Well, you do what others are doing to succeed, okay? Another trick for those especially who have green cards. You want to work in small towns. You want to work in underserved areas. Some of you, you come here and now you want to be in big cities where everyone wants to be. You want to be close to the beach. You want to be close to the mountains. You want to be in all those good places, but you're struggling. Now, while some of us are in those small towns where they don't have workers, where they don't have employees, now you are getting benefits from jobs or from the state or from wherever sponsors who are willing to pay you because you are willing to work in something we call underserved areas. Okay? That's what I mean. Keep that in mind. This information might not be valuable two days from now. It might not be valuable three months from now, but it will come in handy. Davis, 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 very good to see you. This information will come in handy. Davis, huh? Canada is an option. All right, my friends. Okay, I'm a CNA, I want to do LPN, but I don't think my home care is interested in education benefits. I think it works in the hospital. I like that. Let's see, I like that comment. If I were you, I'm going to transfer. I'm going to move to a hospital for you. You will get someone to sponsor your education. I'm telling you. Most hospitals now, they have a shortage for nurses. If you promise that you'll go to RN school and pass those exams for you, LVN, yes. Some of them even sponsor LVNs. Just do your research around your area. You'll find 
hospitals and institutions that are willing to pay for your tuition so long as you have passing grades. And by the way, passing grades, some of you, when I say passing grades, you think like you have to get an A. Passing grades means, hi Janet, here I am now. Okay, good to see you, Davis. Passing grades, by the way, sometimes is a C. Did you hear me? Okay. Here, some, you just have to pass. And by passing, I mean what? Probably a C. So don't be scared. Am I clear? <laughs> it's a C. I'm telling you some of these things me I just love. Okay. Some of you now, another one. Huh? You come here, my listeners, you go to big universities and the tuition is expensive. Okay. I've always told you on this page, for those who are new, maybe this is new information. You can always switch. From university to a community college, especially in California, community colleges are very, very cheap. Or oh, let me say they are cheaper, cheaper than universities. You want to take advantage of that. If you are someone on F1 student visa and you are struggling, look at those strategies that will help you, okay, change your life, reduce stress. Tony, thank you. Sherry, thank you. Okay. McKenna, thank you. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for coming. Look for those opportunities, my friends. If you're F1 and you see things are not working for you, just go to the international student office, okay? Some of you, that's another one. There's something called what? Hardship. Did you hear me? Hardship. Now, you go there and you say, ah, I came here and my uncle was my sponsor. Huh? Huh? I'm a victim of expensive university in Ilichanuka. Lois! Show us how you chanukad. Show us your, your skills. My uncle was going to sponsor me for this. And now his finances, or he's not feeling well. Can you file for me hardship? Then the school will decide if they do that or not. They can decide to file for you hardship. And that hardship, you'll probably be able to work. I'm just saying, okay? You'll be able to work full time. So you can pay for school, but you have to get permission from the USCIS.gov, immigration. Are you understanding? Huh? Yes. Joseph is saying thank you for this. I do this topic because I will never have a chance to talk to some of my followers. And I don't want them to say, Janet, you are teaching us to come to America and now it's too expensive. And I'll talk about culture shock too. Some of you get discouraged the second week. Now you start, no, sail through, look five years down the road, okay? You file for hardship. You are going to file for hardship because now you are not going after status. Because now you are not going to lose your F1 status and get deported, my friends. Okay? All right. We are watching from Justin is watching from Kabete. Oh, nice. <laughs> Another thing that people fail to do. You need to visit this financial office. Me, I tell you, I think some of you listen to me for, for a while. When I went to UCLA, I went to the financial office, first of all, the first semester. So I'm going there the first week. Janet, how do I transfer from an expensive university to a community college without having to start the semester there? I think scramble. Scramble the first semester. Scramble work with them the first semester, okay? Don't just, because when you come in, the, the, the embassy has already told them the school you are going to. So you don't want to confuse things. The first semester, get some money from home. Okay, get come with something in your pocket. You need to go apply for a social security quickly. And in fact, that's why I'm going to do a video with one of the students. So she, he, I know how they do it. But I want you to hear from a student who just came through listening to Janet so that we can see how he got the social security. Okay, all right, what is happening about Canada? JanetRangi.com. Now, always visit the financial before I lose my thoughts. I don't want to lose my train of thought because the comments are coming in very quick. Thank you, Janet Rangi. The fear with F1 is losing the status if you work outside the settings. Yes, yes, yes. But that's why Janet is teaching you the legal ways, okay? But you always want to know people that come from your country and network, okay? But me, I'm teaching you USCIS.gov, legitimate stuff, legal stuff, so that you take advantage, like that one for hardship. Did you know that it exists? Go and ask your school. I need hardship. Go and ask the school. I need to transfer to a community college. My funds are not working for me, okay? So that's what you need to do, honestly, okay? All right, another thing. Who is that? Thank you so much. Yeah, I already answered that, okay? So hardship, don't forget. Don't forget to apply. That is very possible. Another thing is, 
you need to choose your cause wisely choose your cause wisely why do i say that okay i have a brother-in-law actually and uh, he did surgery and now the job is paying his student loans hi james okay james is watching okay the the school asked for a lot of money but now he found a job which is paying for student loans so you need to choose the school wisely I have it let me back up i was talking about financial aid office so the first semester i go to ucla i meet this girl she's from uganda she's like hi janet where are you from i said well i'm from kenya ah okay uh, Janet, by the way, they gave me tuition. They gave me some uh, scholarships. I said, oh, how much? The girl told me she had a full scholarship. I said, oh my goodness. She's from Uganda. I'm from Kenya. Why does she have a full scholarship and I don't? We are both citizens. I went to the financial office. Me, I said, you know what? I'm really struggling. You know, I, I, I can't do this. Please help. Do you know the next time I came, we had the same. She got full scholarship. I got full scholarship why knock and the door shall be open for you okay and by the way i'll bring another example i have a follower in california okay a follower of mine is in california she said okay janet i went and got a master's program at stanford stanford if you don't know stanford is in you know one of those schools like harvard okay then she got i think a master's program uh, in uh, information technology you see these expensive schools, they have a lot of money for needy students. I'm just telling you. They each go there in big numbers, so it compensates for the needy ones like me. Okay? All right. So, she went there. They asked, where are you from? I'm from Kenya. Let's see your ID. Full scholarship. I'm just telling you. I have people in uh, Virginia. Full scholarships. Do you understand, my friends? Okay, so, ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be opened for you. Always choose your causes wisely. Why do I say that? You might look like you're paying a lot of money when you are going the first two, three, four years. But when you come out, someone is always willing to pay you if you did a cause that is very unique, that they need people. And this mostly is in the medical, medical field, okay? You need to look for other sub programs. They have all those things going on, okay? All right. For us students, for those who've been watching me for a long time, you know very well. Of course, student F1, student uh, visa F1, Student visa, you can always work 20 hours per week. 20 hours per week, you can make money. That is legal. You go get the social security, okay? And you can always work what? Legally on campus 20 hours a week. I have a follower. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of examples. That's what I'm saying going forward. Janet will stop talking and I'll just let my followers speak from experience. That's why it's good to do these things for a long time. I have a lot of data, okay, to share. I've been collecting data. I've told you I'm a data machine. My book is full of data. Nothing, no guesswork, okay? Now this one, he's, he's been working over the summer. Now he's just enjoying the semester. The fall is here. The last three months he's been working. And did you know how much he was getting paid? <laughs> $18 an hour, $20 an hour. Seriously. He has enough money to pay the next semester. Who? Janet Rangi follower, okay? Janet Rangi follower. He was Janet, he got F1 student, he went to university here in the United States. Now he has used all those tricks and as we speak, he's paying for his own tuition. Real follower, I will go, I might not go there, but I will have him on phone one day, okay? These are real examples. So if you are listening to me, you've been watching me, you managed to come here on F1 student visa, this video is very, very important. We don't want you to get deported. We don't want you to go and get in trouble. We want to show you the legal ways how people actually survive. And by the way, always communicate with the international office. If you're sick, let's say maybe that semester you can't even pay money and you went to a clinic and you are tell them, that might save you a day. Like if you're sick, how are you supposed to pay for school? If you're sick, how are you supposed to attend school? You, are, you need to be smart. You need to tell them I was sick so that they don't, they don't report you for missing a semester. But meanwhile, you're putting your life together. Okay? All right. Now, before this, I think joining the military was an option for students. I always say, never give up. Go to one of those centers and ask for military recruiters and ask. You'll be surprised, okay? I'm just saying, these days they say you have to be a permanent resident or a citizen, but I hear sometimes they recruit. So always find out. That one, if you join, is guaranteed 100% full tuition. They will take care of you like full, full, okay? 
make sure okay all right let me see the last one okay by the way i forgot to tell you if you come on master's program oh my god i've told you so many things okay if you come on master's program they have something called cpt okay cpt you can work full time as i speak i had don't quote me i had there are some schools you know schools in america they're kind of a business so they are looking for students to graduate i was looking for a school and actually it had a 24 percent graduation rate can you imagine like people go there but the ones that graduate only 24 percent so they are so happy to have international students guess what when they have international students pay graduation rate is a hundred percent whom do you think they want whom do you think they want in that school okay now they have those cpt programs especially masters where you can work full time and some schools actually make it possible for you to go to school on weekends and work full time during the week because it's a win-win situation it's a win-win situation because you're working paying them money and then they are giving you the education who will complain okay all right david says to join military you need to be 35 years and below okay all right mary saying rosemary following and preparing to go back the second time to face the giant elephant that's why I say you stand before, okay? You stand before. But sometimes the more you go to that American embassy, they deny you your chances for Canada get lower. Just keep that in mind, okay? All right, I'm surprised not so many. Many people are watching, but I know most people. These videos, you can see 86. Maybe some of you never go back to see how many people are watching these videos. You can see 89 people. By the way, you come back. Like I come back 24 hours, my videos is over 10,000 views, 15,000 views. So many people will be watching these videos. I hope this message gets you wherever you are and this will help you change your life. Okay, remember the most important things I told you. If all these strategies, CPT, OPT, all these work programs on campus, trans college transfers, going to cheaper schools, finding if they don't work, look into empower.com. These days, they sponsor international students. They will give you a loan. I don't like the interest rate by my friend. You have to do what you have to do to get to college, okay? So those are some of the tips I've given you how people pay for school, how people go to college in the United States. I did not summarize everything. Most of them are on page 65 of my book. I'll put there a contact form, janetrangi.com. You'll go and fill in the form. The book, some of them are coming tomorrow. They are going to Nairobi. I'm filling other countries and I'll be shipping all these books because this is real life-changing information. For those who feel Canada form, we are coming one day at a time, one person at a time. We are calling you. We are emailing you. We are responding to your questions. It's not easy, but I'm doing my best, my friends, okay? So if you miss this video, go back to the, to the, to the beginning. I've talked about some of those tips, some of the tips how you can pay for college education in the United States. We are going to avoid deportation. We are going to avoid stress. We are going to succeed as a group, okay? Coming up is real testimonials. I'm going to bring F1 student visas, okay? I'm going to talk to students who came here on F1 student visas. I'll talk to people who came here on green cards. Let them tell you the truth. Let them tell you if what Janet has been saying is true or not. Okay, so that you, you don't make those mistakes. In my opinion, you'll probably want to be just like them. Follow their advice. Let them tell us the test they did, how they got admitted. Did they do TOEFL? Did they do, not do TOEFL? Did they have to do GRE? Did they have to do GMAT? Did they have to do credential evaluation? And how are they paying for school fees? Did they get jobs? How did they get them? Did they have to get a social security number? Did they get on-campus jobs, off-campus? How are they surviving, basically? Okay? Watching from Qatar. Thank you, Jackson. Okay, if I win a green card, must I have a relative over there? Not relative, but a sponsor. Someone who will be able to say that they'll support you when you come to the United States. They'll have to provide an affidavit of support. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for coming. Remember to keep the dream alive and have a strong desire to succeed. The desire will push you over the edge. The desire will make you the best. You stand, you fall, you stand, you fall. You never give up, my friends, because you know what? You're the best. Today was Wednesday. I'll see you probably on Saturday, the weekend. Okay? I'm going to start driving. I'll travel. This very soon, I'll start going to university so you can see. I'll show you their dorms. I'll show you the admission office. If possible, I'll talk to the admission officer. Hey, our people want to come. Can you give us information? Okay? 
Emma will be the last one. Agnes is saying very useful information, okay? I'm going to take a shower and go to bed. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Keep sharing, especially people came to America recently. We don't want you to struggle. This is very, very important information. Your parents will be happy to know that you have this information. Your parents back home will rest knowing that there's somewhere, some place that, you know, some, somehow you will be able to succeed. Because some of them, when they release you in that airport, they have no idea how you are going to survive in America. They are always worried about you. They are not sure if you are going to pay these fees, okay? And I tell them, and I tell you here, we're going to tell you how other people have made it, okay? Not everyone that comes here as a student is a millionaire. Personally, I came with $200 in my pocket, okay? My pathway was different. Your pathway will be different. Some of you will come here, probably will marry American citizens legitimately. Some of you will win green cards legitimately. Some of you will get scholarships. Some of you will have to apply for loans. Some of you will have to find cosigners. Some of you will have to work three jobs. Uh -huh. Some of you will have to do CPTs. You will have work programs on campus, off campus, all those tips, okay? Elizabeth, Laura, and everyone else, thank you so much for coming, my friends. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Good night, good morning, wherever you are. Thank you so much for coming. Blessed. Thank you. Bye-bye.